This video is for the configuration of active management technology for small and medium businesses. These steps are to be performed on Intel AMT enabled systems. Boot your computer and hit Control P. That will bring you to the screen and the default password you will sign in with is admin. A D M I N. The first thing you will need to do is change your password to a strong password. It needs to be between 8 and 32 characters long, contain both upper and lowercase Latin characters, have at least one numeric character and at least one non-alphanumeric character, such as an exclamation point or a pound sign. You'll need to verify your password, and it will be set. The next step you'll need to go to is the Intel ME configuration. Hit Yes. Now validate that under ME Features Control, the Manageability Feature Selection is set to Intel AMT. Hit Escape once to return to the previous menu. Go to Intel ME Power Control. Set the ME State Upon Initial Power On to On. Set the Intel ME on in host sleep states to always. Return to the previous menu and go into AMT configuration. The first step you'll need to complete is changing the provision model. Hit N for no, hit Y for yes to change to small business mode. Now you'll need to enter in your host name. In SMB mode, this is required. If you use DHCP, this must match the computer name as the in the host OS. If static IP is selected, this name must be unique from the computer name in the host OS. Now you'll go into TCP slash IP. Do not disable network interface, hit no. Do not disable DHCP, hit no. A domain name can be left blank, or you can use a domain such as intel.com. It is not necessary to enter the domain name in for the ME in SMB mode. Next, we'll go into SOL slash IBR. It will prompt that it's going to reset afterwards. Hit yes. You need to validate that the username and password is enabled. You need to make sure serial over LAN is enabled and IDE redirection is set to enabled. VLAN is typically set to disabled. If your environment will be using VLAN, this is where you would make those changes. You can also check that the remote firmware update is set to enabled. You can return to the previous menu. And you've now successfully configured your AMT computer. In order to validate that this is a successful configuration, perform the following instructions. You will need to obtain the IP address of the AMT enabled computer. You can do this by going to the start menu, clicking run, type CMD, OK. Now you can type in ipconfig. Take reference of the IP address it lists below. You will need to use this in your next step. Now on the management console, You'll need to go and open Internet Explorer. 
in the address bar, type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address that you just received, colon 16992. It will take you to this login page. Click log on. The username is admin and the password is the strong password you previously chose. Once you've successfully logged on to the web interface, you've got a valid provision system. While you're here, you can visit the system status, see the hardware asset inventory information, system information, processor information, memory information, and disk information. You can also view the event log. You can also do base remote control capabilities such as turning off, on, and rebooting the system. Network settings allows you to set specific network settings to AMT. The users account tab will allow you to create additional users to have access without having to give out corporate admin and password. Lastly, you have the ability to do a firmware update to AMT.